Hello YouTube. You know lately it doesn't seem like very often I buy something I really like. But uh and I bought this a couple weeks ago. In fact it says I bought it on August 19th. I'm uh, processing some cases I trimmed down for some 300 black out here. I like that. I've been doing those. Those are the ones I have let to do and those are the ones I've done, okay? So I've been sitting here a couple hours and well, I got more to do. But I I am just impressed with this thing. I had a, a RCBS when I bought case uh maintenance deal, what do you want to call it? Cleaning up the cases. And don't get me wrong, the RCBS one worked. It made more noise than this one does, but it, it didn't have any way of, of holding in the residue. And my son in law to be, he's been getting into uh reloading. So he wanted to redo do up some cases for two two three. So I loaned it to him. And I needed this and I think I've been trying to come up with enough stuff so he can get into it going. So I decided to break down and buy one of these. I looked on Amazon and god they were downright cheap. It was 115 bucks. And with my prime I got free shipping, so I guess it ain't really free, I pay hundred bucks a year, but it's money well spent. I am just in, first of all this thing's quieter. And the RCBS one, I I've done probably a couple thousand uh two two three uh cases with it. And every once in a while when I was fighting with a really tight <laughs> primer pocket, it would actually stop. This one does not. And you know how quiet it is? It makes no noise at all. I bought it originally just because of this here I, I, it doesn't let anything get on my desk here my work area and, and I've been trimming a lot of cases look at all the stuff down inside there there's a let me I have to sweep it in there but look at there's a lot of crap there okay um, this comes with more of these little adapters I put them in a, a drawer so I wouldn't lose them not that I would lose anything but the thing really works well just takes a second to do is when I'm holding the camera. Just do that one for just a second. And this one I have to rock it around a little bit to get smooth. And I feel it till it's smooth. It's good. And clean out the primer pocket. We're good. That was a good job. I don't run the brush on them. I mean, these have already been wet tumbled. They're they're clean. So I just I have I don't think I've ever done a review before because on most times there's really good reviews out there, a lot more detailed than what I'm going to do, give you all the specs and all that. But if you're interested in it, you can go read it off their website just like I can. But I really like this thing, and you know, again, it's cheap. And don't get me wrong, I love RCBS red dyes and stuff. I have no problem with them at all. I have a lot of their stuff, and they make good quality stuff. But on this, I think Lyman's got it over on. You know, it's a nice and neat little deal. Came with all kinds of stuff to use. I'm just really impressed. And lately, I haven't been that impressed by some things that you buy. You buy it, and oh, God, that's junk, or this is wrong. And, um... I remember my lubicizer I bought. I bought it from uh, Cabela's. And they sent me one that I believe had been used and returned. The box was all retaped up. You could tell that. And the, the seals in it were torn. Which, I mean, the seals are only a buck a pop. They're not a big deal. It was just... Took a week to get some seals for it. I mean, it cost me like five, six bucks, and I have a handful of spares now. But I was really torqued. I was, oh, I can use it. No, I couldn't use it. Of course, called Cabela's. Nobody's around. <sighs> called RCBS. It was on the weekend. Nobody was around. So I was just, I was just out of luck. But this thing, I am just tickled. I, mean, I could die tomorrow, but I'm tickled pink with it. And I just wanted to say it. It's a Lyman. Uh, Lyman Case Prep Express. 115 volt, of course. But 
Man, it's just nice. I try, I always go over to uh, Midway first and check their stuff. If I can buy it from Midway, if it's even close, I do. If I remember right, there was quite a difference on this. And then the shipping, of course. I wish Midway did something like uh, Amazon does. Maybe not guarantee it'll be there in two days, but, you know, maybe let you give them 100 bucks a year and you get free shipping and stuff. Because they are getting better, but... <clears throat> Midway on some stuff just hammers you on shipping. You know, first of all, you're paying a little more than what you buy for Amazon, which, okay, Midway's a better company, I'm sure. And I know they support the Second Amendment and all that good stuff. But, but they just beat you up on the shipping. It's like, come on. Only I can figure is they must be charging some handling charges or something. But if you're looking, if you got some case prep you're going to have to do, and if you're going to do rifle, you're going to have to do some case prep sooner or later. That is a nice unit. And you can't really cry about the price. And like I say, it makes, if you can hear it, I don't know if you hear it on the video, but the refrigerator is turned on behind me. This thing makes almost no noise. I've been sitting there and watching YouTube videos and Netflix while I've been doing this, and it hasn't bothered me a bit. And it's just as nice as can be. And I hope it lasts for many years. <laughs> Good move. I hope Tony enjoys the other one. Because <laughs> I like this one. And I hate selling stuff. Because you hardly ever get out of what you got into it. And like I got a chronograph. I, uh, I, uh, I put up on the uh, Michigan Gun Owners uh, site. And uh, nobody's even interested. Heck, I'm giving them what? The chronograph, the uh, software to hook it to the computer, the Bluetooth to hook it to your phone, light kit, tripod, and all that for like 140 bucks. And not one person's even offered me anything crazy. Well, here, what's the name of this joint? MichiganGunOwners.org. Yeah, that's where I was. That's a good, that's a good site I found. A lot of good information. I will now officially quit rambling, but man, if you're looking for a case prep, check one of these things out. They're really nice. I really got lucky on this one. Goodbye.